Hi everyone, I'm Martin Tadlock. I am the Regional Chancellor here at the University of South Florida, St. Petersburg. And I want to take a few minutes just to acknowledge those of you who are participating in this event. I really wanna thank a couple of um, organizations, the Chancellor's Advisory Council on Issues of Diversity and Inclusive Community here at the University of South Florida, St. Petersburg, the Office of Multicultural Affairs here on this campus, and also, of course, the Pinellas County Schools participating in this, the middle school and high schools that really help us recognize incredible students who work in this community, provide leadership in this community, who dedicate their time to community service, volunteerism and social justice and issues of race and diversity. Um, this is for you and we appreciate every single one of you and we're really, really privileged to be able to recognize that today in this event. I just want to give you a, a couple of uh, pieces of my thinking. Number one, this pandemic isn't gonna last forever. You're gonna get through this. You're going to learn a lot as you go through this, but you're gonna come out on the other end, a stronger person. And we're here for you. As your university campus in your community, we're here for you and we want you to know all about us. We want you to visit here. We want you to become familiar with who we are. We also have a program called PATH, Pinellas Access to Higher Education. And we have counselors working in that PATH program in your schools. And we'd love for you to reach out to those individuals, get to know them, spend a little time with them and learn about this place because we want you here with us. We want you to join us here at the University of South Florida because we believe in the same things you do. And I can promise you that as the regional chancellor who's been here for five years in this community and see the incredible opportunities that surround us as we do those things that I consider to be the right things to do for people who live, work and play in St. Petersburg. So don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to reach out. Don't be afraid to come over here on this campus. If you wanna see me, you just let me know. I'll come, over, I'll come out, I'll meet you, I'll greet you. We'll take you around campus, we'll show you around and we'll, we'll talk with you and your families, your parents, your extended family, your friends. We invite all of you to come and visit and be, spend some time with us. So congratulations on being recognized today. Just know that we're really, like I said, pleased to have this opportunity to participate in this event and to recognize you for all of your accomplishments. Thank you very much and enjoy the time today with us. Hi, I'm Yusuf Mohamdi I'm a 12th seventh grader at Bay Point Middle in St. Petersburg, Florida. Earning this award means a great deal to me. When I was in elementary school, I was on the wrong path and I started bullying others. In my first year of middle school, it took me to the end of the year to realize who I was. I was an A, I was an a student in the school band and an athlete playing travel ball sports. I knew I had to set a better example. People looked up to me and my actions were not admirable. I have changed my behavior and because of that, I'm receiving positive recognition. I want to thank my mom for all the life lessons, time, effort, all the love and support she showed me along the way. Thank you for this award. Hi, I'm Rochelle Still, a senior at Boca Ciega High School in the CWMP program. And I'm so excited and grateful to be honored with this award along with all my peers. Um, I'd first like to just say a little bit about me and how I came to love being a part of doing service acts. So as a kid, um, it's been a family expectation to serve in my community or at my church in all different ways and it's just become something that I'm familiar with and actually love. Yep. Um, <laughs> I, in high school, starting ninth grade, I witnessed the Stoneman Douglas shooting and I experienced severe anxiety and I realized how important mental health is and the lack of resources that we have in it, which led me to join youth in government and then after doing that, I wrote a bill which would increase the amount of school psychologists in the state of Florida because I know we're lacking in that area. I'm also an AP scholar as my AP research project was 
I researched, I asked different students their perceptions on the effectiveness of their school psychologist. And I think that that was just one means of service, my giving back to see what I could do to help my community, help fellow students. Um, I also am a first time voter, which I'm so excited about. And I've led and participated in voter registration drives because I feel like civic engagement is so important in the awakening of Black Lives Matter and different kinds of movements. Um, so this is just a little bit about me and why I feel like giving back and being a part of a community is so important. So once again, thank you so much. Greetings everyone. My name is Kiana Thomas and I'm a senior in the 12th grade at Gibbs High School. I am 17 years old and I'm gladly appreciative to be a recipient of this award today. Um, the word leadership, my definition is myself. I, call, I look at myself as a leader because I stand up for myself, I take control, I do, like I'm very mature for my age. Um, when I grow up, I would like to be a police officer, later on homicide detective. I will be starting college at St. Petersburg College for two years to collect my associate's degree. Then I will be transferring to Fort Valley State in Fort Valley, Georgia to get my bachelor's degree. I plan to go in that career because I, since I was little, I love like this, the, the world that we live in has a lot of a lot of leaders like I, I look at police officers as leaders because they put their life on the line for us they help us to get to us for anything like they're like the people out there but I feel like we need more women like leaders out there and I would like to be one of those Martin Luther King Jr he was a leader back in the day and he changed a lot of stuff for the world not only where he lived at but for the world a lot of stuff still needs to be fixed but there are things that he has changed that made us as a unit come together all races, no separation. And yeah, I'm just very thankful for receiving this award. This is one of the ones that I was looking forward to when I signed up for, and I thank everybody for choosing me to be one of the people for this award. And yes, yeah, so thank you. Hi, I'm Emma Polinski from Boca Cienega High School. And what this award means to me is an opportunity to use my voice as a young person. Dr. King once famously said, I have a dream. And we all know how the rest follows. Dr. King stood for justice, equity, and equality, things that have historically been neglected in America and continue to be neglected even today. In a time of heightened political polarization, a time in which we cannot even rely on our own federal government to protect the rights and needs of the people, we continue to see youth stepping up and using their voice to speak out against injustices. We even see them becoming engaged through civic engagement, activism, and volunteerism. This award presents an open discussion on how to continue pushing forward the dream and agenda of compassion that Dr. King once placed into the minds of millions of Americans. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Michael Barfield Jr. and I am a senior at St. Petersburg High School. I am honored to be selected to receive the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Award from USF St. Pete. To help understand my story, it is important to know the academic obstacles that I have overcome. When I was in elementary school, I was not doing well. Eventually, I was moved to a private school that can meet my learning needs. When it was time for me to move to high school, I had the choice of continuing to attend a private school or transition to a public high school. It was a tough decision for me, but I really wanted to be in a public school setting where I could identify more with my peers. Thankfully, the transition has went very well. In high school, I have participated in high school sports such as cross country, basketball, and track. And I am involved in several community organizations where I volunteer my time serving more than 100 hours. I have worked with the homeless community kitchens, served as a junior camp counselor, and participated in trash pickups. When I am not at school or involved in organizations, I work at Chick-fil-A St. Peach, St. Pete Beach, and work as a soccer referee. I am very proud and appreciative of all the people who had believed in me and helped me overcome my academic obstacles. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said that everybody can be great because everybody can serve. After high school, I look forward to attending college and obtaining a degree where I can help others, but I will continue serving in the process. Thank you very much for this acknowledgement and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Study Graham, 13, play bass 
and thank you for choosing me for the Martin Luther King Jr. Award. I think it's a great honor and just thank you. What inspired me was when Martin Luther King Jr., his marches, when he gave the Eye of a Dream speech um, with the Lincoln Memorial, I thought that was really inspiring. Um, I get inspired by a bunch of musicians all the time. It always changes, but <laughs> um, what I've done, I've done like food drives, clothes drives, um, even stuff like hygiene drives, I guess you would call it. But <laughs> one time with um, our church, we did, um, for Martin Luther King Jr. Day, we did like, um, we put conditioner, shampoos, toothpaste, we had some clothes, we put them all in bags. Then we drove over to the homeless shelter and we gave it to them. So I thought that was kind of fun. It really made me happy. And then just thank you for nominating me and choosing me for the award. It is a big honor and just thank you. Hello, my name is Aaliyah Williams and I am a senior at Holland's High School. And I am eternally grateful to receive this award because I feel as though it is a form of validation for all the education that put towards the civil rights movement, Black Lives Matter movement that we see each day. And I feel like this award will embody and help encourage more people like me, the youth, and help them get involved. And it's a very good program. And I am eternally grateful for being selected out of all of the amazing people that submitted applications. Hi, I'm Stella Vera Vetsga Ross. I'm 18 years old. I go to Bogusiega High School. I'm a senior and I live in Gulfport, Florida. I was originally from Siberia, Russia, but I was adopted at age five and I was moved down here. Um, I wrote into this essay to connect to people that are like-minded like me, um, who believe that we don't need to judge people by the context of their skin, but the context of their heart. I was very enthusiastic. Um, that I got a, a, a nominated for this award. I think it was important for me to know that someone cared and actually connected and maybe, you know, felt for me through my struggles. Um, I think it was also important for me to know that there is other people that are like-minded like me and who view the same views as I do. Um, we all need to just live life happy and love one another. And I think that that's what this award kind of means is that you know I, my expression of love for one another is validated. My name is LaShawn Smith. I'm a senior at Boca Ciega High School. Uh, my GPA always falls between a 3.0 and a 3.5. Usually that's how it averages out, somewhere like 3.1, 3.3. But um, I really do appreciate you guys for the award. It made me very happy. I'm glad because I had to overcome a lot of things to reach where I am today especially as far as school goes. You know, I used to have a very short attention span. I had a really hard time asking for help and a very hard time comprehending certain things at an early age. You know, I went through a lot of bullying, elementary school, depression, I fought at an early age. But hey, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, you know? Um, I really hope I get the chance to see you guys' campus. I heard you guys said it's a very pretty school. I heard you guys have a good campus. Hopefully, I get to come in contact with one of you guys very soon. Once again, I do appreciate the award. Thank you. My name is Jack Newsom, and I am a student athlete that attends Bogie Sea High School, Go Pirates. First, I'd like to thank my school counselor for nominating me for this MLK Award. It means a lot to get recognized for my community service. And with COVID-19 going around and people are getting sick, and lots of people right now are unemployed. So times have been rough, but me and my father happen to be one of those few lucky people where he owns his own business. So we were able to stay open during this time. And we just had a thought where we just wanted to give back to the community and those who weren't as lucky as us. So we decided to give food to the youth, you know, to take some stress off the parents. And I've been through some rough situations myself. So seeing the youth and other adults go through things that me and my family have gone through, just makes me want to help them, you know, pick them up. 
and show them that they're not alone in this situation. Even though times are rough, you have to keep pushing and never give up. Seeing the good that comes out doing community service and helping out other people makes me want to further my own education and follow my father's footsteps and become an entrepreneur myself. That way I can have my own business and I can give back to the community in ways I wasn't able to give back before. Hello, my name is Daniel Edward Ryszewski. I'm a 17 year old male student at Bogey Sega High School. I've been attending Bogey Sega High School now for about four years. I did for my whole entire high school career and I loved it there. I'm so happy to become a senior and to have been nominated and an award winner for the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Award at USF St. Pete. I know that when I first applied about it, I was told by my one of my counselors and she thought I would be a perfect fit for it. And that really made me feel happy because being a black man in America at this time of this year, especially with COVID and all the Black Lives Matter going on and presidential elections, it was like a lot of stress to like live up to certain expectations. And I felt good that someone saw it in me that you deserve to be nominated and recognized for your achievements and for the things that you strive to do better. I've always lived by trying to do my best and be the best I can be and be the greatest. I've had a strong mom and a dad in my life and they've always supported me on everything I've ever wanted to do. I come from a good home life, but I also came from a younger, harder life as a kid. But I know one role model I always looked up to was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And he was always someone I was fascinated with just learning about his philosophy and the way that he thought it was right to use peace to deal with methods when it, when it came to black and white relations and other race relations. I always was able to look up to Martin Luther King Jr. as a, like a guideline for the way that he said and used peace as his principles. And it helped me use that for my principles. And I just want to thank you, say thank you very much for giving me the chance to win this award. Hello, my name is Brenna Dukes and I'm a senior at Sharkers Preparatory School. I'm honored to have been selected for the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Award. Over the past few years, I have dedicated time to community service through organizations like Park and Metropolitan Ministries. Going into my sophomore year, I worked with March for Our Lives on their Road to Change tour and gained experience organizing protests and giving speeches. At these events, I had the opportunity to learn from students impacted firsthand by gun violence and hear from people with a variety of opinions on how to solve this issue. I am passionate about civic engagement and since 2018, I have held annual voter registration drives at my school and I held a drive virtually this year. I plan to go into advocacy work in the future and I am so grateful to be honored alongside those who have helped make a difference in our community. Hi, I am Cynthia Lawson. I am 17 years old and I am a senior at Lakewood High School located in St. Petersburg, Florida. I am grateful for being nominated for this award and I am honored considering who Martin Luther King was and what he stood for. He was more than just an activist. He impacted his community and made his mark on the entire world and race. He is an inspiration and the mirrors inside of me could recognize him. I see myself becoming an activist and someone who helps people who came from where I came from. I want to help them succeed and get where they're striving to go. I want to stand for something and help others because if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Thank you. Hi, my name is Makaria Kohler and I am a senior at the Bogusiga High School. And to me, this award means growth. Not only growth in myself, but also in my community. Over the past year, I've seen how much I have grown as an individual as I develop and, you know, start planning out my future for the next about four or five years of my life. And applying for this award, the essay we had to write, we had to explain of why we help out our community and this, that, and the third. And I mainly help out just because of how I was brought up. Um, my mother is a big inspiration of mine. She showed me how to be humble. She taught me how to carry myself in a way that you embrace others and you care for others and you put yourself not necessarily last but not first all the time and she taught me that and that has 
you know, really helped me in my life. And this award is something that I am very grateful for. It's something that I am proud of myself for doing and that I thank everybody around me for helping me out from my guidance counselors to my teachers to my family and friends. Um, yeah, I just want to thank everybody. My name is Davion Washington. I'm 17 years old. I'm in the 12th grade. I go to the Bogusig High School. I also cheer for the Pirates. I'm on the cheer team. I'm on the varsity cheer team. I've been on the team for three years. I also dance, but that's outside in the community, a community dance team called St. Pete Diamond Prima Donna. I am currently the captain, and I've been dancing for about six or seven years. Um, I cheer, dance, work, and go to school. So it is kind of tough balancing it, but I've been doing it for two years and it keeps me busy away from things that you shouldn't be doing. So that's why I try to keep a lot on my plate and keep myself away from negative energy, negative activities and keep myself doing positive things in the community at school and helping out, you know, just trying to make the world a better place. Um, what this award means to me, first off, my mom. I know that it makes my mom very, very proud when any of her kids do anything, you know, to take a step forward. And this award is definitely a step forward. And I know for sure that it makes my mom proud. This award also lets my teachers, my friends see that there are kids that actually are doing positive things in the community and are looking to take a step forward. Also, um, my future plans after high school, I got an $11,000 scholarship to Kaiser University, and I wanna go there and I, I wanna be a firefighter, so I'm gonna study fire science. I'm gonna get, I wanna try to go for a master's, but if not, a, at least a BA, and then going to my EMT and into the firefighter and potentially become a paramedic. I just wanna thank you guys again. My name is Davion Washington, and see ya. Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Madden, the Campus Diversity Officer here at the University of South Florida, St. Petersburg. Thank you so much for spending time with us and for attending our virtual event, honoring our Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Award winners. We're so glad that everyone was able to participate and hopefully we'll be in person again next year, but thank you so much for joining us virtually. I did want to leave you with a quote from Dr. King. And it says, we must use time creatively in the knowledge that the time is always ripe to do what's right. And one more, never ever be afraid to do what's right, especially if the well-being of a person or animal is at stake. Society's punishments are small compared to the wounds we inflict on our soul when we look the other way. So, Keep doing what you're doing and keep doing what's right. And thank you so much for joining us. And I did want to take a few minutes to thank everyone who had a, a hand in getting this event off the ground. And starting with the city of St. Petersburg Mayor's Office, thank you so much for your generous contribution to the University of South Florida St. Petersburg campus and to this event. To Dr. Martin Tadlock, our regional chancellor, and to all of the Outreach and Awards Committee participants led by Amberly Nelson, our PATH counselors at the schools, Danica Walker and Sandy DiCarlo. And thank you to Serge Jazeer, Marquita Teal, Dwayne Isaacs, Harriet Fletcher, Kay Riggins, and Antonia Robinson for reaching out to the students and the schools and working with our students and staff. Would also like to thank the leadership team at all of our Pinellas County schools that have participated and especially to all of the students for believing in yourself and for taking care of yourself and your community and for being committed to doing what's right. Thank you so much for joining us and we hope to see you again.